Carb cranking. Sure, it's a great way to manage blood glucose levels, but I think we all know it's much easier said than done. Living with type 1 diabetes is interesting to say the least. Keeping track of your carbs takes a whole load of effort, but the control that comes with it is totally worth it. There's so much to be said, so I guess a good place to start is to understand what exactly a carb is. Because if you don't know what they are and how they interact with your body, is there really any point in counting them? I'll try to keep this quick. Most carbs break down into glucose when they're digested, meaning the carb content of your diet has a pretty big effect on your blood glucose levels. Carbs can be found in loads of places. They're in starchy foods, like bread, pasta and potatoes, in naturally occurring sugars in fruits and dairy products, as well as in sweets, chocolate and sugary drinks. It's important to know how carbs interact with your body. They can be broken down into three kinds, fast, medium and slow. Fast acting carbs are usually foods and drinks used as hyper treatments, such as glucose tablets, energy drinks, marshmallows, sweets, you get the picture. Medium acting are those starchy foods that we just spoke about. And slow acting foods are higher in fibre or higher protein foods. <laughs> it's not all bad news though. There's loads of foods and food groups out there that don't have carbs in them at all. Like protein. Fats. Cheese. Oh my god, I love food. Vegetables and drinks, like water, sugar-free drinks, diet drinks and squashes. Tea and coffee without milk have no carbs either. 